Today in my mailbox, my Preseus finally arrived. It's uh, June 26th and it was mailed June 17th. So it took nine days to arrive from Hong Kong to Toronto on 17th. So it took nine days. Um, I backed this project on Kickstarter back in October of 2013. And I'm gonna unbox it. So as you can see here, I got the white one with a keychain. And inside, you got your Pressy. Little keychain. So once you've got your Pressy, you'll go to the market and download the app and then scan uh, the QR code with your activation code or enter it in manually. Okay. So this is the Pressy itself. Tiny little button. And then you just plug it into the top of your phone. So here's an S3 and my trusty old Xperia. And then once it goes in, it barely sticks out, just a tiny little bit. And I'll be back once I've got the app installed and set up. So long press, short press, two long presses, three short presses, etc. These are some of the apps you can access and control. And then your list of commands. Unfortunately, as of Friday, June 27th, there's still a lot of bugs. So Nexus 5, uh, disabling S Voice or Google Search, um, search loops, uh, disabling OK Google hardware detection. So hopefully Pressy will address these issues and update their software quickly. Inside the Pressy app itself, you have your different actions. Under these settings, there's notifications for whenever you push an action, uh, unrecognized patterns, and vibration whenever you push the button. There's also response time, so how fast it'll act and activate your action. As of Friday, June 27th, we're on version 1.0.7a. Just gonna go through the tutorial. Top right is where you add an action. Flashlight, naming your action. The trigger is what combination of button pushes you want. So short press, long press, two short presses, etc. And then save your action. Swiping allows you to either disable or delete your action. And then tapping on it allows you to change the options. So renaming it, and then activating if the screen is on or off. So I'm just going to quit the app, or get out of the app, and show off the flashlight. So as you can see, there's about half second to one second delay, and obviously you can change that with the response time. As well, whenever you push the button, you'll get the notification. And it does work when the light is off. Or sorry, it does work when the screen is off. One of the limitations of the Pressy app, thanks to Android security settings, is if your phone is locked, you can't do things like send text messages or access applications until your phone is unlocked. Your phone can be off and still be unlocked. This is controlled through your security settings in the timeout. So automatically lock. I'm just going to instantly lock the phone to show what happens and there are certain things you can still do while the phone is locked so for instance turn on the flashlight but if I try to send a text message it won't work once I unlock the phone it'll send the command through Just to show what happens with an application. So if you try to run an application when the phone is locked, you may see the application pop up, but you won't be able to access it. So there it's turning on your phone, but you can't access the application. Again, it might pop up, but you, it'll go back to your lock screen. 
One thing I've discovered is that if you have a command that is allowed to be run when the phone is locked, such as toggle Wi-Fi or a flashlight, it'll work if and only if your trigger starts with a short pulse. So right now Wi-Fi is on. I'm going to lock the phone. And then two pulses. And Wi-Fi is off. Again, this only works if it starts with a short pulse. So I'm going to turn Wi-Fi back on just because it's easier to see. But if I try to trigger this with a long pulse, when the phone is off, it won't work. Please unlock the device. So the trigger has to start with a short pulse. That limits you to three commands. Because you have one short pulse, two short pulse, or three short pulses. So hopefully the Pressy team updates the app with more features and functionality, as well as addresses all the bugs that people have been running into. And that's my quick unboxing of the Pressy Android button.